from Delaware's most award-winning radio news team, this is WDEL Video News. Among Delaware's top stories for Wednesday, June 13th, legislation allowing sports betting clears another hurdle in Dover. Police release details of a note left on an abandoned baby and a bill giving child sex abuse victims their day in court heads to the House. Here are the details. Did a lost job and lost insurance drive a parent to drop their young boy off in the parking lot of Christiana Hospital last weekend? Police are now releasing details of a note found with the child. It reads, please help my baby John Vincent. I can no longer care for him. Lost job, lost medical. God have mercy on me. Police spokesman Corporal Jeff Whitmarsh says the note was found not pinned to the child's clothing, but inside his diaper. Whitmarsh says the baby is doing well. Police make one arrest after a woman says she was assaulted at the festival at St. Anthony's in Wilmington. The 24-year-old victim told police she was coming out of a portable bathroom at the festival Monday night about 9 o'clock when she was grabbed by a man. Police are now charging 43-year-old George Homick of Newcastle with unlawful imprisonment and unlawful sexual contact for allegedly refusing to allow the woman to leave the porta potty The woman fought off her attacker and notified police who were nearby. Sports betting gets out of committee, but will it make it to the finish line? We get the story from WDEL's legislative correspondent, Carl Konefsky. Members of the House Gaming and Paramutuals Committee released the bill enabling sports betting at the state's three racetracks. David Reams, a lawyer representing the National Football League, says the sports book will only increase the number of gamblers in the state, and they won't bet legally for long since the state can't give credit, good odds, or tax-free winnings. People who use bookies are not going to play the state sports lottery. You're basically going to be drawing in first-time sports bettors, and as soon as they realize that they can do a lot better with bookies, they'll migrate to bookies. When the General Assembly approved slot machines or video lotteries in 1994, it was done primarily to save the horse industry. Ed Souter, president and CEO of Dover Downs, says he needs sports betting as soon as possible since slots revenue has taken a hit. We're having uh, increased competition from Pennsylvania and potentially Maryland. This is going to have a devastating impact, not only this year, but in years to come. So because it takes a while to build these sports betting facilities, we're hoping we get the uh, approval now to avert problems going down the road with competition. Committee chair and bill sponsor Vince Lofink, a Bear Area Republican, says the bill could go to, on the House Ready list or be something negotiated by the financial leadership team as they make recommendations on revenue enhancers and budget cuts. Governor Minner has already promised a veto if the bill hits her desk. Reporting from Legislative Hall in Dover, I'm Carl Konefsky. 11.50 a.m. WDEL. Coming up, county police need your help in finding a missing Newark man. WDEL News continues in just a moment. Oh. Is everything okay, ma'am? Not really. I need to ride dark tomorrow to get to work, and I forgot to buy my dark cart. I guess I'll have to find a ride. Well, you certainly come to the right place. Didn't you know that Acme now sells dark cards and paratransit multi-trip cards? No, where? They're available at our customer service desk. Getting you there now starts at your 12 Delaware neighborhood Acme markets. Dart and Acme have joined in partnership to be your one-stop shopping place for both groceries and dark cards. It's now easier and more convenient than ever to pick up your dark cards with Acme. County police have identified a serial burglar wanted for dozens of crimes in over two states. 29-year-old Larry Samuels from Willow Grove, Pennsylvania, has been identified as a suspect in at least 15 burglaries since last August in the Deerhurst community. The identification was made possible using DNA found on gloves from one of the crime scenes. County police spokesman Trinidad Navarro says they have arrest warrants prepared for Samuels, who is also accused of a number of other burglaries in neighboring counties, including Delaware County. Samuels has been at Pennsylvania's Gratiford Prison since early this year. Police in Newark, New Jersey, helped to find a man reported missing. 27-year-old Tanya Lee has not been seen since leaving his home on Marvin Drive last Friday. Lee was on his way to work but never arrived. Police say Lee may be suicidal and is not driving a vehicle. A bill giving child sex abuse victims access to the courts heads to the State House next week. Details from WDEL's Carl Konefsky. Members of the House Appropriations Committee released the bill setting up a debate scheduled for next Tuesday. The bill, sponsored by Senator Karen Peterson, a Pike Creek area Democrat, does away with the statute of limitations for child sexual abuse cases and creates a two-year look-back provision, allowing past victims to bring suit in cases already expired under the current two-year limit. 
The bill carries a $200,000 fiscal note, the amount needed for the state to get an $18 million insurance policy to cover suits against state employees. Reporting from Legislative Hall in Dover, I'm Carl Konefsky, 11.50 a.m., WDEL. Coming up, we get your AccuWeather forecast in the Phillies. They have some tricks up their sleeves against Chicago. As you look for your college experience, make sure you look at Wilmington College, your key to success. Peter MacArthur. I'm Melanie Armstrong, and here are Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour. The most complete coverage of the news that matters in Delaware, every weekday morning, 5.30 till 9, on 1150 AM WDEL. In WDEL Sports, Cole Hamels gave up back-to-back -back home runs in the first, but the Phils retook the lead in the bottom of the inning as they went on to a 7-3 win over the White Sox. The Phils scored three runs in the bottom of the first, helped by a two-run single from Greg Dobbs. Chase Utley added a two-run home run in the second as Cole Hamels gave up just those two first-inning runs over eight innings for his ninth win of the season. The Phils now go for a sweep of the three-game series this afternoon with Kyle Kendrick just called up from Reading. He's going to make his major la league debut today. He'll be opposed by John Danks. You can hear the game on WDEL starting at 1230. And Ernie Banks would approve. The Blue Rocks and Frederick Keys will be playing a doubleheader tonight. The two clubs were rained out last night in Frederick. The Rocks are in second place in the Carolina League's Northern Division, just one game behind Lynchburg. Your WDEL Delaware AccuWeather forecast now today. Clouds and sun, a shower and thunderstorm around. The high will be 76. Tonight, partly cloudy, the low, 57. Tomorrow and Friday, clouds and sun. High tomorrow, 72. The high Friday. 75. Get news updates throughout the day. Delaware's top stories at the top of the hour on 1150 AM WDEL or anytime right here at WDEL.com, including news video from Delaware and around the world from WDEL and the Associated Press. I'm John Collins in for Chris Carl. Thanks for watching.